The only pets they could have at that time was goldfish. And so they've been wanting, my son wanted a dog and whatnot. And I said, well, no, no, we can't, but you, you know, we have, we have a pet for you, but it, it just grew up and we couldn't keep it here. It's, it's Fanny the elephant. I used to hear people just talking to her about like everyday life. She was Paul Tuckett's shrink. What you are about to see is not just another elephant story. It does not end in tragedy or disaster. It is about a town that had an elephant. It is about the way they related to her over 35 years. It is also about the way their elephant suffered. What makes this zoo bad? And who is to blame? We think it is the people of Pawtucket, the people anywhere of any city or town who will tolerate an animal slum. And it is about a group of visionary people who wouldn't stop trying to free her. This is a story filled with love, compassion, and a heartwarming ending. It is a story that lives in the hearts of the people who knew Fanny the elephant. It is a story they tell their children. It is a story that asks the question, how do you love an elephant?